Some of you may have seen me on television last week when I had the opportunity to ask the president if his new budget would once again triple the national debt and dramatically increase the cost of government to 25% of the economy, up from its traditional 20%. You may recall that the president declined to answer the question last week, but he certainly answered it this week by submitting a new budget that does exactly what I feared. The numbers in his budget are simply breathtaking. A record $3.8 trillion in spending. More than $2 trillion in new job-crushing taxes. Not to mention a tripling of the national debt on top of the largest deficit in our nation's history. Interest payments alone on this debt will set us back roughly $6 trillion over the next decade. That's about $50,000 per household. Now you're probably like me and believe, in America, you ought to work hard today so your children can have a better, more prosperous tomorrow. But with this budget, it's like Washington has said, let's let government live easier today so our children have to work harder tomorrow. You know, it was about the same time last year, President Obama and Democrats in Congress promised that if we passed their trillion dollar stimulus bill and grew big government even more, that jobs would be created immediately. They said unemployment would remain below 8%. Well, Republicans stood on principle, offered a better alternative that according to an analysis developed by the president's own economic advisors, would have created twice the jobs at half the cost. But Democrats chose to go it alone and jam through their stimulus. What did the American people get? A bill for $1.2 trillion and 3 million more jobs lost. Americans are still asking, where are the jobs? Where are the jobs? But all they're getting from Washington is more spending, more taxes, more debt, and more bailouts. 